Welcome to the Cottonmouth Video Blog. Your thoughts? What you trying to say? I can't see. You enjoyed the stories? You enjoyed the stories, Duff? Okay. All right. What happened this week at Cottonmouth? Week two at Cottonmouth. We got here Monday. Troy's first thought was, hey, I'm going to go hunting where I made Jimmy pass that buck last week. Troy popping those two bucks. <laughs> wouldn't been for you, we wouldn't have killed that big old buck the other night with Uncle Jimmy's crossbow. The buck that Troy made Jimmy pass came out and he shot it. Long story short, Jimmy's mad. And then he goes and he takes Jimmy's crossbow. And we go get in the ground blind. We've got Delta with us too. This is the family affair. Lo and behold, once again, a big old buck comes out, 40 yards. I think he walked to 51. Troy shot him with Jimmy's crossbow without telling him. You know he shot two bucks, don't you? No. Yeah. Got another one? Yeah. Huh? He shot another one too. Shot one yesterday afternoon too. What? <laughs> Your crossbow. I, I hope you got a couple of extra bolts. <laughs> 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 he was popping him with that crossbow. That was pretty funny. Jimmy also didn't think that was funny. I had to check it. He did shoot over that deer's back the first night, and I just, I just, I, I don't want Jimmy to have to come back and not have the confidence that he needs to know that his crossbow was really on. It was fine. It wasn't the crossbow. It was Jimmy. George sprayed wind checker dust in my face. I had to get that off my chest. <laughs> I was trying to hunt. It was my first afternoon. I was excited. We were just sitting there. I didn't do anything to provoke it. I was just sitting there and <laughs> like not a little bit, like a lot. I'm like like a large amount of wind checker dust in my, it got in my ear. <laughs> he had a white streak on his face. In perfect fashion like Lake and Jordan always do and y'all never see this, but we'll go check trail cameras in the daytime and they check the majority of the trail cameras and they keep the cards. You never see the pictures. They tell you nothing's there, nothing's there, nothing's there. And then you ask them where they're gonna go hunting and they go. Brad's over there taking a nap and we go looking at the camera and there's deer in there the day before all afternoon. Got up and old school, it got in some climbers. And I will have to admit, we could definitely tell me and Jordan, it had been a whole deer season since we climbed because we were both sweaty and out of breath by the time we made it up in that troop. 3.30, we just got set up in the stand and Lake turns around and taps me on the shoulder and says, buck, buck, buck. And I see antlers and I'm like, oh goodness. And I immediately I recognize this deer, it was this big old nasty, huge four point that we decided was a great management deer and needed to get taken out if any of us got a shot. And he came right around perfect and Lake got him a four pointer. I'm missing four point down. It's been a good two weeks so far. Ain't no telling what week three will look like. That was cool when she had them glasses on. That was funny as hell. <laughs>